Good evening, everybody. <clears throat> Welcome to week four uh, of our geometry course. Uh, today, This week we're going to focus uh, exclusively on the finite geometry of Pappus, which uh, in the interest of abbreviating everything, we're going to call FGP. Now the finite geometry of Pappus, I think you're going to find to be very familiar if you've been uh, keeping track of all, if you've been keeping up with all of the pen casts, uh, the axioms, you're going to recognize at least the first four of them from uh, Young's geometry. Um, axiom 1 says that there exists at least one line. Axiom 2 says that every line has exactly three points on it. Axiom 3 says that not all points are on the same line. Axiom 4 says that if a point is not on a given line, then there exists exactly one line on that point that does not that is parallel or that does not intersect the given line. Uh, now, you'll re recognize this from Young's geometry. This was Young's axiom 1. This one was Young's axiom 2. This one was Young's axiom 3. And this one was axiom 5 in Young's geometry. So you'll notice we skipped right over axiom 4, uh, and that's because axiom 4 from Young's geometry doesn't hold in the finite geometry of Pappas. Recall that uh, axiom 4 in Young's geometry uh, said that between any two distinct points, there exists exactly one line that contains both of those points. That's actually false, uh, and, and you can see in axiom 5 exactly how that becomes false. Axiom 5 says that if P is a point not on a given line, here's our point P, then there exists exactly one point P prime on that line such that no line connects P and P prime. Okay, so given uh, a point P and a, and a line that uh, on which P is not, uh, then there's exactly one point that for which there is no line connecting P to P prime. Now axiom 6 says that apart from that one exception, uh, there's always a, exactly one line between any two points. Okay? So uh, I actually want to turn over the, the proofs of uh, three very important propositions uh, to the discussion sections. So in uh, discussion 4A, you are going to, in your first post, prove Proposition 1 and Proposition 2, as stated here. And then uh, in your second comment and third comment, I want you to look at uh, any details that you or your classmates may have overlooked, because uh, I want you to be thinking about um, how you can improve and write second drafts of your proofs so that you have uh, the best and most concise argument that you can make. So discussion 4A is going to be that sort of discussion about propositions 1 and 2. Uh, and discussion 4B is going to be that same format, but about proposition 3, which says that every point uh, in the finite geometry of Pappas is on exactly three lines. Now, you may be wondering uh, what purpose these three propositions serve. Um, it's, it's no coincidence that a lot of the statements that were true in Young's geometry are going to be true in the finite geometry of Pappas because of these four axioms that that uh, that the two geometries share. If you go back and look at the, the proofs of the uh, seven propositions from Young's geometry, any, any time the proof only relied on axioms one, two, three, and five from Young's geometry, that statement is going to be uh, just as true in the finite geometry of Pappas. Um, so even though I, I in some sense, I'm, I'm sort of just giving you the axioms and, and setting you off to, to um, 
prove all of these statements that we haven't considered before. I'd like you to think that you have considered them before. You've just considered, considered them in a different geometry. So propositions one, two, and three are, are establishing some really important facts that help you get on, uh, on the same footing with the finite geometry of Pappus that you were with the with Young's geometry and uh, I would suggest that propositions 1, 2, and 3 will be immediately applicable in proof set 2. Uh, I'll, I'll point out now if you haven't seen proof set 2 is all about the finite geometry of Pappus. So this week we are doing nothing but ramping up our discussions to proof set two, which is proving five, uh, five additional propositions about the finite geometry of Pappas. I'm really excited to see your conversations. I'm excited uh, about the conversa conversations I'm already seeing from, uh, from week three, and uh, I hope they continue. Um, so uh, please, as early as possible, Get your your posts in for the discussions 4A and 4B, because uh, these are a very natural pre prerequisite for doing proof set two. And uh, the more time you've had to think about and internalize all of these statements that are true about the finite geometry of Pappas, the smoother proof set two is going to go for you. Uh, additionally, I'm going to set up a, a discussion forum dedicated entirely to proof set two. If you have any questions about uh, what is going on in that, um, in those items, um, if you have any questions about what, what exactly you're supposed to prove, post them there, uh, and that way we can all sort of resolve those questions together. And uh, if nobody posts right away a, a response, I will, I will get you a response very quickly. So please uh, go, go straight to the weekly discussion 4A and 4B and get started. Uh, this will be a great week and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Have a good night.